My name is Bob Becker. I'm here at the Sabian Cymbal Company, and I'd like to show you some interesting instruments. These two here are the Becker Bow Cymbal. It's an instrument that I helped design uh, about 15 years ago, and it came about in response to a situation, an experience I had being a jurist for a percussion competition in Geneva in Switzerland. At that competition, one of the required pieces for all of the uh, participants was a multi-percussion piece that required bowing a suspended cymbal. And I found that uh, in every case, the players were not able to produce convincing sounds, and they were not able to do it consistently. Uh, the traditional way, such as it is for suspended cymbal bowing, involves an instrument mounted on a floor stand like this, a bow of some kind, and this material, rosin. I'll be using a base bow. This is a synthetic bow, not wood, plastic, but it does have natural horse hair uh, and made for the bass violin, not the cello or the violin. Those bows are smaller. This works much better on cymbals. Now this kind of technique for bowing metal percussion instruments is rather common nowadays. Uh, you find pieces that require it for cymbals, crotales, and uh, in particular the vibraphone. And this kind of bow works very well on all of those instruments. I'm using a brand of rosin that I like called P. Rostro. It's a cello rosin, marketed that way. So you want to put quite a bit on your bow. This creates the friction you need to make the sounds. Now the old way is to use a cymbal like this and it's uh, obviously hard to stabilize. It requires one hand to hold it down at some point. Make a sound like that. Or grip it from the other side. Not that convincing a sound to me. Sometimes you get a good one. That's more a matter of luck than anything else. This instrument was designed so that the sounds can be consistently produced. And what we're making here are overtones on the instrument. You can see it's been uh, created with a straight edge on four sides and a curved edge on four sides. The instrument is mounted quite firmly. So it's a boom cymbal stand with opposing washers and extra felts, so clamped down quite hard, so it's rather stable. Uh, this allows the instrument to be played with one hand if necessary, which uh, it often is in modern uh, percussion setups. Very strong and clear overtones. If I touch the instrument or pinch it, lightly in various places along the radius, I can get different overtones. A few months ago, I was performing with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, and we were playing the accompaniment in real time to the Back to the Future movie. The score for that requires bowed cymbal sounds in at least six of the scenes, and they go on for quite a long time. Uh, in addition, I had to play xylophone, concert tom-toms, and crash cymbals, so I had to have that entire setup in place. Mounting the cymbal vertically like this allows it to be played easily with one hand uh, and placed in a setup that is comfortable. Also allows me to 
watch the conductor if necessary while I'm bowing. Symbol worked out really great in that context. Playing with two bows allows you to keep some continuous overtones going and is an interesting effect and sometimes uh, required in the music. This instrument can also be mounted horizontally, as it is in this case, and played in that orientation if desired. And it needs to be uh, mounted with a very firm clamping using several felts and an opposing washer, metal washer. So good luck. I hope you enjoy using and hearing this instrument.